the Bruins were chosen as the favorite in the Pac-12 by a narrow margin over Arizona State. Um, if everyone remembers, uh, UCLA and USC played that epic game in the last regular season game, uh, won by a Jonah Matthews buzzer beater uh, at the Galen Center. Uh, and, but look, at that point, UCLA was ascending and certainly was one of the hottest teams in the country. Uh, the momentum, despite a pandemic, seems to be continuing because a player like this, Chris Smith, is back with the Bruins. Uh, he could have gone anywhere. Didn't have to come back. Why did you? Um, I felt it was the best decision for me. Um, and I'm just super duper excited to finish out, you know, my college career here, hopefully with a winning season. I look, I didn't mean to bring up that shot, but I have to. Uh, that's yeah. the last memory. Uh, <laughs> but you guys were going in the right direction before that. And it took some time, which is understandable with McCronin's crew. Uh, and you bought in defensively. And so now there's that identity. Uh, what are the chances that the team's momentum will continue off of what occurred at the Galen set or really toward the end of last season? Um, I say it's a great chance. Um, all the guys that play major minutes are back. Um, not only are we here, you know, for another season, but we're here to help, you know, all of our newcomers and Johnny Juzang and, you know, Jalen coming in, being a freshman, you know, just getting those guys rolling. Um, so hopefully, the momentum will you know, keep going because we still pretty much have the same guys from last season. Uh, there won't be the preseason hiccups like we had, you know, last season, just getting to know Coach Cronin. Everybody knows what we've got to do. Everyone knows, you know, uh, what has to happen. So hopefully as soon as we get the, uh, the new guys rolling, we'll have that momentum back. And how are you a better player? Um, you know, I've still got plenty growth. <laughs> I still got plenty of room to grow, still got – a bunch of things I've got to work on. Um, I'm just trying to focus on, you know, stepping into the leadership role, being the lone senior on the team and, uh, you know, flourishing in that role as much as I can. Uh, I try to be, you know, I'd say like the fifth coach on the court. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, me as a player, I still got plenty of room to grow. Uh, I'm learning with my teammates, with my coaches, but I'm just trying to be a leader on the court right now. All right, so Chris, Stanford had to use the tennis courts outside. So did USC. Uh, what did you guys do when you were first allowed to congregate uh, at least outside? Um, we were never outside, thank God. Um, we just had, excuse me, we had smaller groups in the first workout. So it was only like four people in the gym, um, like four guys from the team in the gym. And then we had a couple coaches in there at once. So um, right now we're back to like contact and everybody's in the gym, five on five type things. But when we first got in, uh, you know, that was not the case. It was small numbers just with a couple coaches. And then we rotated groups. All right. I've asked this of some of your peers in the league. Daily testing is monumental. Pac-12 Big Ten have it. Uh, what is your day like in terms of waking up and ensuring you show up for that test and that everyone, when you get to practice, it has to obviously be negative or they can't be on the floor. What's that day like? Um, well, for me, I know I wake up 7 a.m. every morning so I can get some breakfast in before I have to leave because I've got to be at the facility by 8 a.m. Uh, you try to get there by 7.55 so you can check in and be in Mo Austin by 8 a.m. Um, you know, we start stretching with West by 8.30, so everybody's got to get their tests in, ideally before 8.15 in the morning so Shane can go and get them you know, tested so we all get the negatives back, hopefully. Um, and that's been the case so far. Uh, after that, 8.30, it's stretch with Wes, and then we stretch until 9 o'clock, go upstairs, we lift. Uh, then we come back downstairs, and practice will start around 9.30, 9.45. Uh, and then it's pretty much until Coach wants to let us, out, <laughs> wants to let us go. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But we got like two and a half hours uh, with Coach Cronin. Uh, and then after that, I know myself – I have class every day except for Wednesday and Friday. Uh, and then so I should be done around like 4.45, 5 o'clock every day. And then it's pretty much homework, staying at the crib and just trying to be as safe as possible so we can keep playing. So it's Groundhog Day every day. And last thing, I'm just curious, yeah. during that time period, when you take the test, you're stretching and you're waiting for the all clear. Yeah. How, how anxiety written is that? Um, I'd say like the first week there was some anxiety, but now – 
um, you know, I know where all my teammates are. I know what they're doing after practice. So I know, you know, if somebody's uh, probably going to get a positive or anything, but we haven't had that problem yet. You know, all the guys are putting basketball first. You know, we have class. That's the number one thing. But after that, it's putting our team first. And, you know, all the guys have done that so far. So we don't have much anxiety here.